my pajamas. Are, okay, never mind. We're we're good. We're good. We're fine. Um, let me sit here. This is not the right chair to be sitting in to do audio, cause it's so creaky. You know, I'm just gonna stand up and do it. Um, I'm just gonna get on my hands and knees like a little good little dog, taking it from behind. So, um. Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start. Maybe I should piss first. You think I should do that? You think I should pee before I? S yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go piss. Give me a minute. Now, this is not the right chair for doing that. At least that's what I think. Cause this chair. Oh no! Don't fall over. I need you for later. You're gonna be my little sweetheart. So why don't computers have cameras on the back of them? Like, they have one as a face cam. Oh, no, my pants are falling down. You guys can't see that, but I know you want to see that. If only I had a camera on. Uh, that, yeah, that's right. My FBI agent's looking at me. He's about to get um, put in prison for looking at a minor in his underwear. Oh, wait. He's... Well, no, I'm still a minor. Yeah, 17's a minor. Um, a few more months, then it will be legal, okay? Then I'll be legally aged as a pedophile. Maybe I should just make that a thing. I just do a little podcast here. So, when I was a child, I have a very interesting memory of my childhood. So, it was my grandfather's wedding. See, our first grandmother had already died. Breast cancer it was. And I was a young, young lad, young wee lad. And what happened was for the second wedding. So he went right on to marry. He didn't give a shit about his first wife. He was like, oh, fuck yeah. I'm about to get my dick wet again. So he decided to marry another woman. And during this wedding, my uncle, his the back of his head looked like my father's head. You see, both of their heads looked very similar. And you know what I did? You know what fucking little six, seven-year-old me did? I said, oh, there you are, Dad. And my uncle turns around with a smile, a giant fucking grin on his face and says, yes? And I'm like, oh, shit. That's not my dad. That's my uncle. So that, that, that little memory has always haunted me for years, years upon end. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Even though I keep reciting it over and over again, my rest of my family wants to kill themselves because I keep talking about it. <sighs> that's good gumbo. So, that's a little story. Um, what else? I'm sitting here on a, on a desk with my... Uh, lower than landline internet modem flashing lights because it's like having a heart attack um my broken well not mine but my family's broken computer that doesn't work anymore um a mickey mouse sticker um looks like a pirate why is he a pirate that's kind of weird got my phone here because i was gonna start reciting lines for oh what's this video stop involving kids in pranks no 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 you gotta keep bringing them in you gotta start doing more Fortnite dance pranks on kids. That stuff's hilarious. Um. Yeah, I should probably. Um. I should probably start recording part three lines. I. So I finished part two, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it should be finished. I mean, I gotta get two people's lines in, but it's mostly finished. I've gotten all the editing done, now I just need to put those two people's lines in. I'm getting the lines today, and then for the other person, well, I'll get them soon. See, that's why I put the deadline as next year. That sounds like a long time, but it's literally like 10 days away. Because think about it, we're in, we're in December 21st, 10 days. No, 10 days, yeah, 10 days, and it's going to be January 1st. Can you believe that? Ten days. And and it's going to be the new year, 2021. I have ten days to get all this done. 
Even though I've been spending weeks, no, not weeks, months on this project. And you know what? I think it's shit. I think that it might be worse than the first episode. I went back and rewatched the first episode like five times. And that shit's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. And I have to say, the second one probably isn't better. I mean, it might be. I, I just, in my opinion, I think it's shit. I think it's absolute garbage. At least the audio, at least. Because this microphone, it is so fucking bad. Like, this thing costs, what, like $79? It sounds good, right? The audio quality is fine, but there's feedback in the back, and I hate that. Another YouTuber, um, Lando Productions, his videos, he uses PS4 um, party audio, and there's always feedback in the back. And it kind of makes me feel better about it, but at least his... He can't control that. I, I can control that. Maybe I can't, but it's so dumb, and I hate it. You see, I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Like, the script is fine, right? It's so much better than the first one. The first one was mediocre at best. This, the second script, and the third script, it's... It's fine, all right. It it's good. It's fine. In fact, I think I like it more. Shut up. The script is better than the first. The editing, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know how I'm gonna do the pacing of this. I think it's too fast. Because every it's just transitions from chapters, which are acts, basically. Each act has a different character's perspective. And I don't know how exactly... I'm going to play that out. Honestly, I don't know. I actually don't know. Because I want to finish this series. I want to get... Make it my magnum opus. If you don't know what that means, it means your best project. Your greatest achievement. I want this to be, me like, remembered. You know, this whole thing started because of a YouTuber, Bed Bananas. Do you remember? Do you guys know that YouTuber? Probably not. Maybe you do. But honestly, there are these videos he made, like the Hitman video. The Hitman 2, Agent uh, 47 video. And, um... Rust the old Americans And I was like, oh my god, I gotta make a video like that. So what did I do? I don't have hitman too. I don't have rust I have dying light and you know, what's the best part about that is I'm like, well, what am I gonna do? I can't just mod the game like he can because I don't know how to mod. I'm a fucking idiot but I'm like, what if I make a story? What if I make an interesting story that's in the world, make it fully original, and I make it work. I mean, that's what I did. So, so that's what I did. I had, um, I had X Factor, I had coffee, and I had me. Three of us doing, doing the thing. We had the script with us when we recorded, and basically, that's all we could do. That's what we did. We just just recited it. We made a video. I edited it together. <coughs> edited it poorly. Uh, and there you go. You got Dying Like the Hunted Part 1. I mean, that was, that was all it did. Just took some editing. Now, the problem with Part 1 was poor direction. I am a very... Poor director, if that makes sense. Every time I ever, like, when we when I was a kid, me, my brother, and two of our friends, we would make movies. And I would never be the director or the cameraman. I was always an actor. And and that was it. I was, I was just an actor. And I'm bad at directing. I don't know how to tell people that their acting is shit. I don't know how to tell someone, dude, you're just fucking ass at this. Do it again. I'm not good at that. So all I say is, dude, did a good job, man. 
awesome. We'll, we'll use that take. But when I'm in doing lines for other people, I'm like, uh, dude, if I have, if I did something wrong, let me know. I can re-record the lines. Or when I'm writing, I ask people, hey, what do you think of this? What do you think of this story arc? What do you think of this? And people will give me their feedback, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll use that. I like that idea. And when I'm acting, I'll be like, okay, I'll just do what you want. Boom, done. It's done. All right, go ahead and just use it. But when I'm directing myself, I'm like, yeah, just, yeah you did good. You did good. Let's go in the next scene. And I feel like that's a problem with most directors. Kind of like The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Nobody wanted to be there. Mark Webb, he was... He just said, yeah, good, got it, we got it, we got, we got the, we got the, we got the scene. And that's how I was for the first one. For the second one, I'm actually spending more time, I'm trying to get better at being a director, because mostly, I don't want to tell you how angry I got. You know, um, with Divine, right? Our most favorite person on the, on the videos, he was doing acting, he was doing like stand-ins for most of the characters. Because this was at a point where X Factor and I were going through a very heated discussion and an argument over something very private that I'm not going to go over if he ever decides he had ever want to make it public, which I doubt would ever happen. I'd probably talk about it, but it, he was gone, right, for like months, months on it. We're cool now. We're like, we're on talking um, standards now, but, um, I don't know if we're on standards enough to make a video together again, but, you know, we're on talking standards, but he wasn't there, and the only people who had Dying Light were Divine and his friends, um, Coffee, he just, I asked him for his lines, I was like, hey, you wanna do the lines for Markov, and then, like, two weeks later, I was like, hey, um, so, you haven't really answered back, do you wanna do it or not? And he was like, yeah, sorry, no, I am i don't want to do it. I've been too busy. Which I thought was total bullshit, but, you know, people were... I wish he had just said he didn't need... He didn't want to do it. Because that's really the truth. He didn't want to do it. And so, I was out of a voice for Markov, right? I was out of a voice for the ninja. I was out of everything. And I was basically just going to scrap the idea altogether. It was just going to be done. I was going to scrap Dying Like the Hunted for good. It, w it was going to be on life support, and then I was going to pull the plug. But then something amazing happened. Something, something crazy. I posted a message on my Discord saying, hey, we, Dying Like the Hunted is dying. We need people. If you have a mic and you can send me an audio, please message me. And you know who came to the rescue? You know who came to the fucking rescue? K-Man. That beautiful son of a bitch who helped me with one of the creepypasta videos. He was like, dude, I want to help. Dude, can I help? And I was like, dude, yes. I, You are damn good at what you do. Let's do it. So I gave him like a few months. And I didn't even send him the script. I forgot to. And he just didn't say anything about it, which I'm okay with. And then he forgot about it, and I forgot about it. And then just this week, I was like, hey, can you get this done? And he was like, yeah, man, uh, I'll get it done. And I was like, dude, thank you. I appreciate it. And then he was like, uh, hey, dude, um, you free? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm free. What's up? You want a game or something? And he was like, nah, man, I want to help you. This man wanted to help me with my work. This guy's awesome. Like, dude. He wanted to help me make it the best it could be. So, it's just me and him working on it. And you got this man to thank for dying like the Honda being saved. You also have Divine and his friends to thank. Because they were the ones who helped me record. And got, I'm going to be honest with you. Half of the lines are me. 
and I made it enough so that it's hard to recognize it. You see, I made different voices and then I lowered it, basically. Sometimes I heightened it, but half of the voices are me and then it just came in. Uh, I'm being serious here. But anyway... Yeah, it's part three. Um, shit, did you guys see that trailer? No, of course you haven't. I haven't sent it out yet. But let me say, very good. Love it. I I have kept watching. I keep going back to watch it because it's so damn good. And I'm like, holy shit. I did a good job with this. I sent it to somebody else and they're like, yeah, I couldn't really understand it but right at the like right i got into it like i got into the music i got pumped up and i was like okay well it got the job done now unlike the second one the second one's a teaser trailer so it didn't have anything to do with the second episode now part three's trailer has footage from part three and part four because if i just have part three and part four together it's gonna be like a two hour special now i could do that i could do that however i doubt anybody would watch that long so i'm gonna split into two parts anyway yeah i i might make a few more videos soon but i'm just gonna mainly work on the hunted for a while so, probably not any new, um, not really any new, uh, what's it called, <sighs> videos for a while. No, like, December update like that. I'll be doing stuff like that, kind of like this, which is kind of like, almost like a podcast thing, but just me. It's kind of gonna be like, stuff like that, where I'm gonna just be talking, and you can just listen, and I'll be like, yo, so this is happening, this is going on. We're we're chilling here, but basically that's it. That's the thing. Um. Uh. Do you guys like the Minecraft video? Be honest with me. Did you really like it, or were you just simping for the girls in the video? You can tell me. You can tell me, guys. Come on. You can tell me. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, that, that's the end of this little update slash podcast thing, I'll, yeah, okay.